Hey, Homestead Prepper. I uh, just wanted to share one of my off-grid lighting solutions with y'all. And I'm willing to take a stab in the dark here, no pun intended. But I'm willing to wager that a lot of you have never heard of a jet fuel only Coleman Lantern. And I've got two of them right there. And to be honest, I had never even seen any jet fuel only Coleman Lanterns until just a few minutes ago when I put those labels on there. <laughs> okay guys, uh, those are jet fuel uh, lanterns. They also run off kerosene. They've been converted from uh, regular Coleman fuel to run on kerosene. I have run both of them on Jet A and right now the one on the left is running on kerosene and the one on the right is running on Jet A. Um, uh, some of y'all some questions out there are probably well homestead prepper why would you want to run a, a Coleman lantern on kerosene or jet a well uh, I think if you're um, a prepper you should have diversity of your preps and I don't know if any of y'all have uh, priced that Coleman lantern fuel right there lately but uh, it's like $15 a gallon now, I didn't pay that for that when I bought that a while back I think it was $12 a gallon and then the one I bought before that was, you know, like nine dollars a gallon. It keeps going up in price. Uh, the can of kerosene on the right is um, from Walmart. I think that was like eight dollars a gallon. Now, I know you can get the camp fuel for uh, around eight dollars a gallon. Also, it's not name brand like Coleman is, but it does work. Um, that blue jug right there that says kerosene actually has Jet A in it and the lantern on the left is it's actually in pretty good condition I borrowed the mantle uh, not the mantle the uh, globe out of that one and had to put it in those because those uh, when you uh, make a, a kerosene lantern it doesn't seem to want to run properly unless it has the globe on it and keeps the heat in there to keep the uh, kerosene vaporized for the generator so but uh, that one right there it is in excellent condition for 1965 if y'all can read that or not but right there 1965 so it's 51 years old the uh, one on the left I think is 1960 and the one on the right the jet fuel only Coleman on the right is um, 1958 so these are ones I picked up at yard sales flea markets for a couple bucks I had to do some repairs I'll probably do another video on that how they were converted and repaired it's real simple you know, if you only got three or five dollars in one of these, you shouldn't really be afraid to work on it. Um, okay, why Jet A? Well, I can get Jet A from anywhere between three and six dollars a gallon here locally at my municipal airport. Now, I went up to the Plant City Airport a while back and got 15 gallons of Jet A, and it was, I don't know, around fifty dollars, I think. I forgot exactly what it was per gallon. Um, I'll show you a website you can go to and check your area. Now, um, I think the cheapest place in my area right now is the Zephyr Hills Airport, and they're selling Jet A for $3 a gallon. Now, I know there's a lot of conjecture out there, and people are going to say, well, Jet A is not good to breathe and all that. Well, you know, I'm going to say, well, kerosene is probably not good to breathe either. So, But, um, I mean, guys, y'all you know, work at your own risk, and you, know, you, you burn your Coleman lanterns at your own risk, too. So, but I can get uh, Jet A for a quarter or a fifth of the cost, I can get Coleman fuel. Now, I, I still like my Coleman Lantern. Like I said, that one works really good. I'll, I'll do a comparison between all of them. But like I said, the one on the left is burning kerosene. The one on the right is burning Jet A. Now. I had Jet A in both of them, and the one on the left seemed to get a little warm. And the one with the kerosene seems to be getting a little warm too. So like I said guys, uh, experiment at your own risk. But if we never experiment, then we'll never find out anything. Um, also uh, kerosene, I, I can run that in my kerosene heater. I know some people have already run Jet A in their kerosene heaters, and they say it works really good. So, But uh, I just thought I'd share a little bit of this with you. Uh, let me uh, let me show you my Jet A setup and where I keep it. Well, I'll show you not where I keep it, but I'll show you how it's kept. 
Okay guys, all I did was type in Jet A prices and it'll give you your local prices right here and you put your zip code in. Okay guys, here's some prices right here. Plant City is selling it for four bucks a gallon. Zephyr Hills, it's three dollars a gallon. Boy, TIA, they're proud of their stuff. Six dollars and twelve cents a gallon. There's some other prices. Okay, we'll just scroll down here a little bit more. And well, the cheapest place right now looks like uh, a popka. Two sixty-two a gallon. That's uh, that's pretty smoking, but that's a little far for me to drive. So um, I don't think three or three fifty or four bucks a gallon is too much to pay for Jet A. Uh, we were in uh, Burnsville a couple weeks ago, Burnsville, North Carolina, about the middle of uh, October, and they had um, kerosene at the pump for two dollars and ninety-nine cents a gallon. But like I said, it's not really available here locally. Okay, this is where I keep my Jet A or kerosene, and I'm gonna have to get the right wrench one day to take this thing off. I use this oil pan, oil filter thing here. Let's look down in there. Oh, look too bad. Okay, I got one of my pumps. Let me get that set up, and we're gonna put a little in that can right there. So let me, uh, give me just a minute. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work out here because it's going to be hard for me to hold this and pump this. I guess I got probably about a gallon right there. Let's put that down. Okay, some of y'all are probably wondering why I have a this and that, and that's for secondary containment. If that were to ever get a leak in it, it this would contain it. Okay, I got me some Jet A. Let's try it in our lantern. Okay. This back on. I'm going to wipe up that little mess right there, too. Okay, I got my Jet A right here. Let's pour a little bit of that out, see what it looks like. I'm going to do about half a cup. Yeah, put a little bit more in there. Yeah, okay. That's probably about one cup right there of fuel. And you can see what that looks like. It's kind of straw colored. And this is a 16 ounce cup. So I'm going to put about four ounces one of these and I'm going to run them both on uh, Jet A I guess that's about four ounces right there I put about um, half a cup in here before and this one I want to say ran about three hours this one I've just been kind of putting in here I haven't keeping track of how much has been going in there but we'll put a little more in there on that one so all right well let's uh, get these buttoned up 
we'll wait till it gets dark so we can see what they look like at night. Okay, I also wanted to add, I don't know if some of y'all are aware or not, but if you run something on kerosene, you have to have a preheater cup. And that's one that I made out of a one inch copper cap and I, uh, I put a piece of uh, pipe in it and braised it on there. And you have to put alcohol in there and preheat the generator. Now this one, I, I haven't been up to the plumbing place and gotten one for this one yet, but I've had to heat this one up with a torch. Someone suggested trying cotton balls and soaking them in uh, alcohol and heating the generator that way, but I didn't have any success. So I'm just going to be making another one of those to, to get it going. Okay guys, I think some of y'all might think I'm a little crazy, but uh, I've got my jet fuel only lantern right now in my kitchen. I've got it in a pan. That's in case any of the uh, kerosene or Jet A were to leak out. If it were to do that, I could pick that pan up and take it outside a lot easier than I could, you know, wipe up burning kerosene. Also, I have a uh, fire extinguisher. Now, you can't see this right now, but I do have a, uh, this is a welding jacket. I don't know how well you can see that. And I do have a blanket on hand. So, fire is going to be one of your worst enemies when the crap hits the fan. So you want to do all, anything you can do to mitigate it. Um, also, uh, I don't plan on running these things in my house unless it's an extreme emergency. You know, who knows? Someone might get hurt and then uh, you got to bring them inside. Conditions outside don't allow you to work on them. You have to do it inside. But I would open up the windows, the doors. I'd get some cross draft ventilation. And as soon as I got done working on that person, or persons, then I take that lantern outside and be done with it. So, and another thing too, I would not ever, ever, ever want to go to sleep with one of these things on. So, and also um, a big no-no. I definitely won't be bringing a Coleman lantern that uses Coleman fuel uh, in my house. So, and I wouldn't trust my life on a carbon monoxide detector. So, ventilation, ventilation. Uh, right now, I don't know if you can see that, but I got my my range hood is sucking all that stuff out right now. But I won't have that luxury, like I said, when the crap hits the fan. Uh, this light is actually a lot brighter than uh, it comes across on camera. It's actually giving me a fair amount of light. If I were to hang it in the center of the kitchen, you know, I don't know if I'd hang it from my ceiling fan, but... Um, it would uh, it would definitely throw out some light so okay guys well those were a couple precautions and like I said use this with extreme caution and at your own risk the uh, center lantern is running off of Coleman fuel and the one on the left and the one on the right are running off of jet 8 and they're all pretty bright um, uh, without using the camera as a filter and looking at them the way I see them I'm going to say that the one in the center, the one that runs off the Coleman fuel, is just a smidge brighter than the um, kerosene or the Jet-A. Just, just a smidge. Now it looks different because the center one doesn't have a globe. That's on order. It hasn't come in yet. Okay, well it lights up my work area pretty good. I'm just going to put one of the uh, jet fuels in the center and we'll see how that looks too. Okay, that's one jet fuel powered Coleman lantern right there and it's lighting up my entire work area and it looks like I said before it looks brighter uh, in person than it does through the filter of the camera so this uh, this thing is throwing off some light some good light okay I just want to talk a little bit about the heat this uh, is the Coleman fuel lantern and it's just as cool as a cucumber down here on the base. Now of course it's you know so hot up here you don't want to touch it. This is uh, the kerosene one that has Jet A and it's, it's relatively cool here on the bottom. It is warmed up here but not excessively warm. This one right here seems to run a little hotter for some reason. I mean you can put your hand on it it's you know not exactly what I would say cool and if you put your thing on the bottom 
it's not it's not overly hot so anyway guys that's just something to uh, watch out for you don't want to get these things red hot and have a problem so if you do a conversion take all the necessary precautions Okay guys, when the lights go out, are you prepared? <laughs> 